Imagine living in a home that cost you nothing to heat or cool. Imagine building this home yourself. Imagine growing your own vegetables year-round in this home. Imagine no utility bills. Imagine easily available, limitless natural resources to build this type of home. Imagine a more earth-friendly civilization. Imagine Earthships. Earthships demonstrate a way to live in harmony with the planet by encountering natural resources without depleting them. An Earthship is a passive solar home made out of natural and recycled materials. It is off-grid, getting its power from the sun and wind, its water from the rain and snow, and it reuses, contains, and treats its own wastewater with a combination of wetlands and hydroponics. We call the compilation of all these integrated systems biotexture. The major building component of an Earthship is used automobile tires filled and compacted with earth to form a rammed earth brick encased in steel belted rubber. These bricks and the resulting load-bearing walls are virtually indestructible. The three-foot-thick massive walls and the method of incorporating them into the earth create living spaces with a thermal dynamic that results in a stable room temperature. Recycled cans and bottles are used as filler when packing out tire walls. They are also used like little bricks to form interior non-structural walls. A matrix of cement is formed which is the strength of these walls. The cans and bottles serve no structural or insulative purpose. They simply are a method of forming concrete into walls in a low-tech way using recycled materials instead of more cement and wood. The thermal mass construction of the tire walls works with passive solar gain to create a warm living environment even on a freezing day. A stable mass temperature of 58 degrees trapped in the walls only needs a little solar gain to temper up to 70 degrees or whatever your comfort zone is. The lower winter sun shoots deep into the house charging the dense massive walls and dense floors which in turn release that warmth back into the room when the air temperature of the room starts to drop. Alternately, the summer sun does not enter farther than the planter itself. In addition to the thermal cooling properties of these earth homes, Passive ventilation systems assist in maintaining a comfortable temperature. Dormer and hopper windows, skylights and doors can be opened to allow the natural convection of fresh air. Insulated shades against the glass face keep out the hot summer sun as well as to keep the heat inside on cold winter evenings. For extremely hot climates, a cooling tube can be added. In this case, the incoming air is channeled through a tube and buried eight feet in the earth, tapping into the cool earth temperature and drawing cooled air into the house. There's a limited amount of fresh water on the planet. In order to conserve and protect this precious resource, we have developed unique catch water, gray water, and black water systems that work together to extend the use of a given amount of water. Earthships efficiently use fresh water by using it four times. Rain and snow is caught on the roof and funneled into a cistern. This fresh water is prepared by the water organizing module. This unit consists of a panel of filters and a DC pump which pushes the water into a conventional pressure tank. As water is needed, it is filtered, pumped, and pressurized for household use. Water that drains from the sinks in the shower passes through a grease and particle filter, then on into a gray water treatment planter where plants flourish from the water. This interior water treatment cell is potentially a food producer, a source of beautiful and fragrant flora, and an oxygen producer in addition to functioning as a cleaner for the gray water. The extra water not used by the plants drops into a reservoir at the far end of the planter where a pump sends the cleaned gray water to fill the toilet tank for flushing. Used toilet water, known as black water, is flushed outside for treatment in a conventional septic tank. The septic tank we use is solar heated and glazed with south facing window which enhances the anaerobic breakdown process. The unit functions like a regular septic tank with a line out to a conventional leach field and an alternative series of rubber lined planter cells which feed the exterior landscaping while further cleansing the water. Hot water is obtained from self-contained solar water heaters with gas on-demand water heaters as a backup. The solar hot water is usually mounted onto the systems area and built into the shape of the building. The systems are packed into a room containing all of the equipment needed to run an earthship except for the cistern which ideally lies very close to this area. We call this area a systems package. 
the water organizing module, pressure tank, gray water pump panel, batteries, and the power organizing module are all kept in this small room called the systems package. An Earth ship's power is generated by the sun and wind. Solar panels and windmills collect energy which is sent to and stored in a bank of batteries located on top of the systems package in an insulated box accessible from the roof. The stored power then goes to an energy management unit on the power organizing module where it is converted and presented into conventional circuit breaker panels. This unit is a self-contained organizer and distributor of solar, wind, generator, or grid power. It is available as a user-friendly factory assembled unit that is simply screwed onto your wall. Your local electrician conventionally wires your lights, appliances, and outlets to this unit. All systems in an earthship are designed down, enabling its residents to live off a relatively small amount of water and power. For example, all built-in lighting is DC using super efficient light bulbs. The pumps for the water system are DC as well, and the most power consumptive appliance, the refrigerator, is a super insulated DC refrigerator. We've classified the airship into three categories, packaged, modular, and custom. There are a wide variety of floor plans and solar survival sales construction drawings for each one. The packaged airship is the most economical, quickest, and easy to build self-sufficient building. The economy and ease of construction are a result of pre-packaged structural and mechanical components. Plans for single level and split level vertical glass airships are available. These usually have vertical glass as this is the most economical and versatile method of glazing. The classic design is the modular airship. The floor plan for this consists of a combination of either circular or U-shaped rooms and a cistern systems package area connected by a greenhouse hallway with either angled or vertical glass windows. Custom airships combine basic principles and your personal dreams. If you've got a pocketbook to match, the sky's the limit. Solar Survival staff is available at hourly rates to make your dreams a reality. All of these homes are independent and can be built in any environment. The designs can adapt to any climate, from hot and dry to cold and wet and all in between. Here in New Mexico, the desire to live in a sustainable home has brought people together to form three airship communities. The REACH community is located at 9,500 feet in the mountains above the town of Taos. The STAR community is located near Carson, New Mexico, bordering the National Forest. Started in 1994, the Greater World Community is 633 acres of rolling mesa with a deep gorge 15 miles from Taos, New Mexico. This community is easily accessible from the two miles of highway frontage skirting its western boundary. The Greater World is designed for 130 home sites totaling 286 acres. In addition, 347 acres of natural park land are owned in common by all members of the Greater World. We are currently reclaiming a discarded gravel pit located within the greater world. The plans call for 24 earthships to be built close together, turning once scarred and damaged land into a thriving neighborhood in Greenville. High density situations are very possible. We have high density areas in the REACH community and the gravel pit reclamation project in the greater world is growing. Given the right circumstance, entire cities can be built without infrastructure. We have commando building crews that can go anywhere on the planet and build airship structures. We build all over the world and in any environment. Structures have been built in diverse locations such as Belgium, Honduras, South Africa, Japan, Australia, Mexico, and even at 14,000 feet in Bolivia and more. We have the ability to go worldwide to train people to build airships. The materials are indigenous to the entire planet and readily available. Ten of our builders could train ten of yours who could in turn train hundreds more. The possibilities go on and on. Sewage contamination, dwindling energy and water resources, garbage and the lack of affordable housing are all problems that cities around the country and world are facing. Earthships offer tangible solutions to these problems.